All right, guys. So today we're going to go over how to wire a GFCI receptacle correctly. Um, we'll go over a few features of a GFCI and what it does. So here you have an indicator light. And next to this indicator light, it says replace GFCI if red light flashes. So if a red light's flashing over here, it's time to replace this. To test this, this is your test light indicator. Uh, all you gotta do is cycle the buttons. Now, this GFCI will not function unless it's wired correctly. So no matter how much you push this reset button, it will not work. To test a GFCI after you've got it wired in, you hit the test button and this re reset button will pop out. Now, a lot of times these will come with covers, sometimes they don't. Um, so, some of the features of a GFCI. On the back here, you have your line and your load. Your line is the power coming in. That's the power being supplied. Our power is supplied by that wire right there. So you can put the wires in the back of the receptacle on the line side so your hot will go here and your white will go here which is your neutral. And then there is your ground. Now on these, the ground has a compression plate so you don't have to have a fork terminal to terminate the ground you can just slide it under that compression plate and tighten it down um, for the for the hot and the neutral you can either stab it in the back or you can put it on the side if you put it on the side you'll have to have a ring terminal because it doesn't have a compression plate so i will be putting it in the back holes now you can wire a GFCI to where it only trips here or you can wire it to where this GFCI protects the rest of the receptacles on a circuit and the way you do that is you put your power your incoming power on the line side which is going to be here and you put your outgoing power on the load side. So let's say you're in a kitchen and all your countertop receptacles need to be GFCI protected. So your wire coming from the circuit breaker will go here on the line side and the wire that goes out to the next receptacle will go on the load side. And what that'll do is that'll pass the current through this GFCI receptacle and it'll also protect the outlets down the line so it's pretty basic um, straightforward we're just gonna land our black on our hot our white on our neutral and our green on our ground but we're also gonna put what's called a pigtail right here on this ground screw and to do that I've got some fork terminals and what a pigtail is is just a short piece of wire that ties multiple wires together and that will allow us to get our equipment ground which is this screw and it'll also give us our ground for our receptacle. Now, if you, like I said, if you don't wire this correctly, it will not work. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, wire this up. And then we'll go over a quick look at how I did it and what it should look like when you get done. Also, before I wire this up, I just want to mention that code requires there to be six inches of wire extending from the face of a box. So to get six inches, if you look at your hand and stick your thumb out, there's approximately six inches between the end of your thumb and the butt of your palm. So when you grab this wire, you can you can get six inches by measuring it like that so my six inches is right down here so just a quick trick for any of y'all that don't know that set the butt of your palm against the box stick your thumb out and that's going to be six inches that's going to keep you within the code 
is you need enough wire that you can actually work on this safely. If it's too short, then you gotta do everything inside this box and it, the receptacle will barely come out. You don't wanna do that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wire this up and uh, I'll get right back to, with you. All right, guys. So we've got our GFCI wired up. Um, your ground goes underneath that compression plate right there and your black goes on your gold screws that's with any receptacle any receptacle the gold screw is supposed to have the black wire the white screw or silver screw has the white wire we've got it wired on the line side our hot is our black our white is our neutral our green is our ground now we had to put a pigtail on our ground because it's got to be grounded at the unit in the box and it also has to be grounded to the receptacle so what a pigtail is is a short jumper of wire that allows you to combine multiple wires into one so our pigtail is actually this wire right here it goes up into our wire nut out of our wire nut it goes back here to our equipment grounding screw and it goes back as the ground for the circuit so that's really all there is to that um, i'm gonna put some tape around this that's just a thing that i do i think it looks better it's safer for the next guy i take tape and i wrap around these terminals and what it'll do is it'll hide this little piece of wire sticking up it'll hide this little piece sticking up but it'll keep somebody from touching both sides of this thing whenever they pull it out and go to work on it. So always be thinking about the next man. Uh, a lot of electricians die every year. So uh, we try to keep the next guy safe. So I'm going to take some tape and wrap it around here. And uh, then I'm going to put this weatherproof, weatherproof cover on here. Uh, yeah, you can see it in the picture there kind of like a bubble cover but it's got a little window you can see the receptacle um, it just flips open so yeah I'll get this put in here and uh, everything tucked back in the box tape put on the receptacle and uh, I'll show you what it looks like all right guys so I've got this all taped up and tucked back in here uh, all I got to do now is get these top screws in here the box stripped out on me so i've got these side holes that i'm gonna put screws in but uh the bottom holes good so we're gonna put this uh we're gonna put this cover on here and uh it's made to just go on the on the receptacle there and screw into the box and it's got a weatherproof gasket on it keeps the water out uh, anytime you put a receptacle outside, it needs to be GFCI protected. Uh, you also want to make sure that uh, your power is turned off. And all electrical repairs or installs should be done by a licensed electrician. Um, throw that in there. But uh, yeah, so that's how you wire a GFCI receptacle outdoor indoor wires the same way just got to have a nicer box outdoor and cover um i'll give you a quick shot of it with the cover on in just a second and uh that'll be the end of our video hey guys so there's the uh receptacle with the cover on you just pull these two little tabs it opens right up you can see the status through the window you've got a hole down here for an extension cord or power cord to come out of um so make sure you like and subscribe and comment uh if you enjoy this video uh we put out videos like this all the time um our subscribers are what allow us to keep uh to keep making these videos so make sure you smash that subscribe button and uh hope you enjoyed this video and y'all have a great day Dance the 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 dance the